Hi everyone, it's Jasmine again. So today I will be talking about how is land tax calculated and levied in Australia. Sydney is surrounded by waters and mountains. There are plenty of national parks, meaning there's little space for property development. Australia, as one of the most environmentally conscious countries, will never allow large-scale development of national parks and virgin forests. This means that land is scarce in Sydney. As the population continues to rise in Sydney, I can only imagine that it would be difficult to find land here in the future. Land is the only property that never depreciates. In other words, land is always increasing in value. Today, let's talk about the land tax policy in New South Wales. So, how is it calculated and levied? If you own any property that is not your own, as of midnight on December 31st each year, you are usually obliged to pay land tax. The amount of land tax payable depends on the combined value of any taxable land that you have ownership or other interests, excluding tax-exempted land above the tax base. The value of taxable land does not include any buildings or extensions, such as houses, on the land. Land located outside of New South Wales is not subjected to New South Wales land tax. Your main residence, as in your own house, is usually exempted from paying land tax. However, this only applies to one property. The chief appraiser will evaluate all the land in New South Wales every year and submit it to the government for the assessment of land tax. The valuation will be determined before the end of each financial year, before July 1st. In addition to land tax, land tax surcharge is also required for land under the name of overseas persons. The landowner has the right to submit an objection to the chief appraiser within 60 days after the date of issuing a land tax assessment. Objections must be filed using an evaluation objection form or through the online objection service on a government website. It is worth mentioning that the land value, site value, is evaluated by the appraiser and is only used for land tax calculation. It is not the same as the contract price or market value of the land when the land product is bought and sold. Please log on to the official website to calculate your land tax right here below. So, how is the threshold of land tax determined? The valuer general conducts a new valuation of the land, site value, on July 1st of each year in accordance to the Valuation of Land Act 1916. The State Revenue Office then calculates the land tax on the basis of the land valuation. In fact, we can see from the method of determining the threshold of land tax that the changing trend of the threshold can show the extent of land appreciation. Okay, that is all for today. Visit our website at www.megawart.com.au. Besides offering over 100 properties, we also have market analysis free for your viewing on our homepage. Please subscribe to our channel below and I will see you next time. Audio Jungle